Hello and welcome to Let Them Talk. My name's Gideon and in this video you'll learn how to be super polite in English. Not just a little polite but really really polite. When you use this grammar nobody will refuse you. If you want to know more, stay tuned. Hello. Give me your phone, please. No, I won't. Why not? I said please. You can't have it. Give me your phone. I want to play Pokemon Go. Why don't you use your own phone? My battery's dead. The app really drains the battery. Is that so? Give it to me. No, you can't have it. Give it now. Give it back. I'm about to catch a flange puff. Well, that didn't work, did it? But in this video, we're going to look at the different levels of politeness in English. Now, in the English language, we have a problem. Other languages have polite and familiar forms of you, such as tu and vous in French, or tu and usted in Spanish. This is very convenient if you are making a request, because as soon as you use the polite form, you will by definition, be polite. Modern English, however, only has one word for you. And this can pose a problem because you need to use other words to sound polite. So it requires a more subtle use of the language. Sometimes when non-native English speakers ask for something, they can sound impolite even if they say please. For example, Give me the book, please. While it's okay in some other languages to use an imperative to ask for something, in English it can be interpreted as rude unless you know the person pretty well. So how do you overcome this problem? In English, basically the rule is that the more indirect you are, the politer you are. And there are several ways to do this. When we want to ask for things, we will often use indirect questions. Let's look at some examples. Can you tell me what time the show begins? If you want to be more polite, use could. Could you tell me what time the next train leaves? Another common way to ask for something is by using would you mind? For example, it's hot. Would you mind opening the window? Would you mind turning the radio off? Another method is to use I was wondering if, followed by a pronoun, followed by could. For example, I'm a little late. I was wondering if you could take me to the station. I'm tired. I was wondering if we could finish this tomorrow. Uh, I was wondering if my friend could also come to the party. There are times when you need to be even more polite than this. For example, if you stop a stranger in the street or you ask a friend for a big favour, how do you handle these situations? In these cases, you might want to use the most polite form of all, and that is a negative statement followed by a question tag. Usually, with the verb to be, have, could or would. Let's look at some examples. Excuse me, I couldn't borrow your car this evening, could I? So we have a negative statement, I couldn't borrow your car, followed by the question tag. The question tag has the modal verb could, and because the statement is in the negative, the tag will be in the affirmative. The pronoun, in this case I, is always at the end. Also, you should pronounce the question tag with a rising tone to show that it's a real question. Could I? I couldn't borrow your car this evening. Could I? Here are some more examples. Listen, John, I'm a bit broke at the moment. You wouldn't lend me £50 in the, until next week, would you? Finally, 
to take the sentence to the maximum level of politeness. In addition to the question tag, you could add by any chance to the end of the phrase. You're not free tomorrow, are you by any chance? You haven't got a bigger towel, have you by any chance? Okay, so let's return to our earlier scene and see how we get on using this super polite form. Excuse me, sir. Yes? I'm sorry to trouble you. I couldn't borrow your phone for a moment, could I by any chance? Why? Oh, it sounds ridiculous, but I want to play Pokemon Go. I'm just about to catch Flange Puff. Why don't you use your own phone? The battery's dead. You know the app really drains the batteries. I quite understand. Here you are. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you very much. So there you are. So now you can manage any situation in English using the appropriate level of politeness. Now go out onto the streets, see if it works, and let me know.